Right, no bullshit. The first thing you're going to want to do is run and hug the wall, do a 180 turn and start shooting directly at Pyramid Head. Walk towards him as close as you can if possible and after the sixth shot, start walking backwards. Don't walk back any time before that, otherwise you'll end up shooting Maria. And make sure you have these turns mapped out in your head because you're going to need them. If you bump into the wall, he's going to catch up to her. And as soon as you get to this little fence, press start and reload your pistol. Then fire 10 shots at Pyramid Head. Once you fire 10 shots, you'll see Maria has caught up to you. Then start running. Turn the corners as quick as you can and keep running. I know he slows down a slight bit, but just carry on and then you're done. Now for the next bit of Abstract Daddy, get your shotgun reloaded. And that's the weapon we're going to use for this battle. So the first thing you're going to want to do is skip the cutscene, run straight to the corner and fire your first two shots. Once you've fired them, hug the wall and run all the way to the other end to fire your next two shots. So just keep this pattern going, take another two shots. Run to the wall afterwards to take your final two shots before manually reloading. So we're going to go into the menu, reload, to so take these last two shots. And then once we run to the other corner, we're going to manually reload and take five shots at him. Now we won't need to move for these final five shots. So the next part here, we're going to be fighting Eddie. So we're going to have your attack stance ready and your investigate button. In other words, for PlayStation users, R2 and X with your steel pipe. Keep it held down as soon as the cutscene rolls. Press start to end it and you're just going to end up whacking him like this. Keep doing that until he leaves. Now as soon as you enter this room, skip the cutscene and sidestep right to get behind the meat because the first thing he's going to do is shoot at you so make sure you always do that. So the first method I'm going to show you is with the steel pipe. And the first thing I'm going to do is sidestep. As soon as I sidestep and he goes to shoot at me, I'm going to run to my left. You see that? Run straight past this piece of meat and try and lure him into the corner. Leave a bit of space so he runs to you. And now he's next to me, I'll hit him and he'll try and run around me. Now I tried this countless times and I only ever managed to get him to do this around five times, okay? So this is one method you could try, but you will have to be trying it quite a few times. To a point I say it's sort of luck, but it can be done, believe me. Now the next method we're going to try out is the great knife. Now again, hide behind a piece of meat, let him hit you and let him run away and come back to you. And as he's on his way back, when he's close enough, not right at you, but when he's coming closer, ready up your swing because it takes quite long to swing this big knife. Okay. And as you can see there, that's a full whack. Now just keep doing it. It doesn't matter if he hits you. But he will take so much damage from this. You see that? There you go. I've got a swing off him. He hit me again. Now, I don't think him hitting you is as bad as obviously getting shot. So I've taken quite a few hits. I've taken 10 and still got through the game with minor hits and him punching me up to 10 hits and still managed to get through the 10 star rank under 500 points of damage. Now, I believe after he's taken a certain amount of damage, he won't come back to you. So I waited ages for him to come back and I tried this a few times. And in the end, I had to go to him to take my final swing. There you go. The next we're going to try out is the shotgun and the rifle. So again, take your first shots as soon as you start. And also never forget to always sidestep behind that piece of meat every time you start this battle so skip the cutscene the sidestep is more important than the first shot okay so now i've chose to run around and then select the rifle for long range and take shots at him whenever i can now be careful because once you do shoot at him this gun and the shotgun is slow and it gives him an opportunity to shoot you with his handgun
Now, you're going to want to make sure that you always manually reload, okay? Never forget how many shots you've taken. You don't want to be sitting there while he's taking hits off you and you're trying to reload and he gets to hit you again. So always count your bullets and make sure you do that. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about how many times he punches you, as long as he doesn't hit you more than 10 times, and as long as he doesn't shoot you. If he shoots you, I'd reload it. Here's the damage I took from him hitting me and hits I took along the game. Now, the next part is the most annoying part if you don't know what you're doing. So, what you're going to want to do is set a time up on here so you don't waste your time. As soon as you step foot on the boat, skip the cutscene and get your left analog stick going counterclockwise, okay? Now, the second you finish the third rowing animation, I would hit both analog sticks counterclockwise as soon as the third rowing animation ends, okay? And then you should be in line of the light. Now, I think it's best to get a timer set up on your watch or your phone or your computer just to see what you're doing so you know that if you don't get there in time, reload it and do it again. I know it's a pain, but you're going to have to do it. Now, I did a similar video like this before, but I hadn't played the game in ages and decided to play it and got stuck on quite a few parts. I decided to look up videos about how to get through them and managed to find my own video that I completely forgot about. And it did help, but I thought I could do it better. And the part that was annoying me the most, although it doesn't really matter for the 10 star rank, was the pyramid head chase. Trying to protect Maria from getting hit was the hardest part for me, and I ended up shooting her more times than anything. Now, I tried this boat segment out, I'm not even joking, about 20 times, and each time I failed it, I had to turn the console off and restart the whole thing again, so you can imagine how much time it took. And this method seemed to be the fastest. Now, I got a few times here, because I managed to complete it afterwards, just to see what my times were. So that was the time I got just here, and the time after that, I got, yeah, 1 minute and 9 seconds. So just keep trying it, just make sure you have a timer so you don't waste your time. And there you have it. Years ago, I got the 10 star rank on the PlayStation 2 version. Then, I got it for the HD collection. And, yeah, I just wanted to help out with videos that are never made. No one seems to be talking through what they're doing or how to do it. And it's quite difficult to find a good tutorial on some of the hardest parts of the game. So, I hope this helped you. See you later.